Hi everyone, today I want to show you two add-ons that I made to improve little things in the Blender text editor. So first, let's start with the dev tools. Uh, it has its panel here, but also add several shortcuts that I displayed here. So first, Control shift i it's, it allows you to get ready to code really fast by hitting Control shift i and adding some uh, custom import state statements that you that are hard coded in the in the script so you can customize uh, like you want and if you don't have any text block like uh, like in this window it will add one so control shift i while hovering and text dot zero zero one and you can see that the import statements are here so you you are ready to code in one shortcut that's that's the thing i found pretty cool Control P allow uh, to add a print uh, around selection. Let's say I have a variable word. I want to print Control P, and there it is. And if it's not a variable but a word, Control L, and it wrap with quotes. Also, you can Control Shift P. It's it's like this button here. You if you want to print the variable under underline under. under like I want to to print this variable to check if if it's really center. Control Shift P, and then you have the name and the the variable that are printed. The hash dbg that uh, that is added at this time is to disab disabling all the um, the line finishing with this on on the script or re enabling it with this button. The expand text shortcut that's here is for where you have the c dot or the d dot it will expand to the original bpy context or bpy data for example here it's changed here the include line num is just for for this debug print when you control shift p you have the line written here now let's talk about the snippets library add-on. It's with this panel and you can store snippets and bunch of code and insert them whenever you want. Let's say for example now I want to get the active object. I use the search box here for active and I made a snippet for that, uh, get active and selection. I click here then insert and you can see it's inserted in the, in the indentation, the cursor uh, of the cursor location. So now how to save snippets, you can, for example, say that these two functions are genius. So you want to keep them. Let's hit BPY. Mm, how, how will I call it? Gen text, gen text. And hit the save snippets button. And all the snippets are stored in text format in the library folder. So if I hit the open library folder, you can see the, the text file is here so you can even go the other way around and put your text file here and hit when you hit the reload button it will be available there so uh, here all the subfolder are scanned in the folder that is located in the add-on folder uh, so this is my own design of um, my own method of uh, sorting and my own design of naming i like to call it bpy when it comes to blender related stuff def when it's a definition uh, function um, pi when it's pure python regex for uh, regex obviously and uh, rig when it comes to mature and everything you can use the custom pass for using a different directory than the one inside the add-on folder and that allow you to have uh, maybe multiple source of uh, scripts of snippets and that can be interesting and as we talk about development of uh, add-on and script in blender i wanted to mention some of the tools that i use uh, usually i wrote script in atom editor but uh, sometimes uh, for uh, little things blender text editor is really cool too and there is some really cool add-on like autocomplete from uh, Jack Luke that is really awesome that allow you to really do some stuff really 
easily like adding an operator. Let's say I have a source operator and you see you can add some key map also really easily. I also use the right click by menu for text editor by uh, PSTWIC. Uh, that is pretty pretty cool but I don't think it works on this one anymore. Um, another one is the but I don't use it so much anymore but uh, for maybe newcomers to the scripting it can can be useful because there is a really a lot of feature it's called I think uh, code template and this one is called code template it's an old one and um, yep and for the snippets library I, I forgot to mention in the github you the add-on is shipped with a personal pack of snippets and maybe you can find something useful in there. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you later for other add-ons.